Hey everybody, this is Chad Perkins from MoviesAndComputers.com. What we're going to do in this video is begin a series of tutorials, actually, that look at the third-party effects that ship with After Effects. So if you have CS4, CS5, you'll be in good shape and you'll have all this stuff here. Now this is just going to be kind of like a whirlwind tour through all of these effects. And again, we're going to go really fast here just to give you an introduction to all of them. And then the tutorials that follow in this series will go more in depth. Now, the first effect that we're going to be looking at isn't really an effect at all. It's a separate application that comes with After Effects, and that is Mocha. And as far as I know, there's no way to launch Mocha from After Effects. You need to launch it on its own. And Mocha is meant to be a motion tracker. In other words, it looks for data and it follows it. So, for example, I have this uh, footage here of this city. And it's super ridiculous. It's just so shaky and it zooms in and out. And I had Mocha track this window. As you can see, it did a pretty good job of that. And then I went into Photoshop and I took this window and I put a little Movies and Computers uh, mock neon sign on it. And then I went back to After Effects, did a little compositing work. And then as you see here, uh, used the tracking data from Mocha and it looks pretty darn good, even though it's zooming in and out. And in a second, we'll pan. There you go. And it's still sticking right to that window. So pretty great trick there. Now, the next great effect that I want to look at is called Key Light. And you could just search for it here. It is a standard effect. And so if I have a key light here, I could just apply it to this footage. And it's meant to remove green screen backgrounds. And when you take green screen backgrounds away from something, you isolate it. And you could do all kinds of crazy things, as we'll see in future training coming from moviesandcomputers.com. Uh, so what I did here is I took this ball and I used key light to remove the green screen. And then I shrunk it down and I did some color correction. So here's before key light and then here's after. And then if we play this back, you can see this ball rolling and it's a pretty believable composite. If you look down here at this shadow, key light even allowed me to keep this shadow and this ball rolling does look pretty legit. Let's admire the sexiness of that for a minute and then we'll move on. So next I want to talk about Freeform AE. This is uh, new in After Effects CS4. And basically what this does is that it takes a layer and allows you to distort it, but allows you to distort it in 3D space. So if you see the surface of this planet here, it's kind of bumpy and distorted. And actually this is just a plain flat solid layer. And actually, there's a whole bunch of cool stuff going on here. I plan on creating a series of tutorials about how to create planet scenes like this from scratch in After Effects. Um, but that's neither here nor there right now. And I'm going to uh, turn on this uh, foreground surface demo, and I'm going to solo that. This is that same level, that planet surface, but it's just turned on its side. And as we zoom in here, you can tell by uh, the updating here how long this, this uh, effect takes to render. It takes for days. I have a really fast machine here. I have a 12-core Mac Pro with 16 gigs of RAM, and it's still very slow on that machine. But you can see this is just a plain old solid layer, and you see the displacement around the edges and in the inside uh, thanks to this Freeform AE effect. So even though it does take a while to render, the possibilities are very cool with that. Now, next is the Psychor suite of effects. There's almost like 60 effects that come with After Effects. If I'm in the Effects and Presets panel and I type in CC, I'll be able to see all of the Psychor effects. The ones that start with CC are those Psychor effects. And as you can see, they add many effects to all kinds of categories. So I find that the Psychor effects are great when you're in a pinch. You kind of want to just need something really fast. It doesn't have to look the best, but you just want to toss it in there, and you don't want to spend hours and hours, and that's what it does. So let me just give you a quick tour of some interesting things you can get Psychor effects to do. You could use Psychor effects to make fireworks. They're actually 3D fireworks, if that means anything. And then uh, here's some basic snowfall. And this is instantly created. You don't have to fiddle with any settings. Just apply it. Boom. Uh, some molten gold. Look at that molten gold pouring on there. Uh, pretty cool effect. Again, very, very easy. And to do something like this without the Psychor effects and After Effects would be very challenging. Uh, there's some basic sparkles. Again, a particular would blow away these particles any day of the week. But if you don't have particular or whatever, this is a, a much easier way to do it. Uh, if you want to create a star field, if you want to create a uh, warp speed star field, 
Uh, there's also this really interesting effect called CC ball action. And uh, I'm going to apply it to this photo here. And when you do, notice it automatically kind of creates this interesting pixelated effect. And, and actually, it's not really pixelating. It's, it's turning it into a series of spheres. This one takes a little while to render as well. Uh, but as I click on the rotation and I rotate this, uh, you can see that it's kind of rotating along the x-axis. might be a little bit more uh, obvious if we rotate on the y-axis here. But it's a 3D effect, as you can see from this little 3D icon here, this cube next to the effect's name. And I could also twist this. That's where it gets fun. I'm going to take the twist angle, and I'm going to twist this around. And you can see that there's some crazy stuff going on there. I'll take this rotation axis back, back to uh, the x-axis. Uh, and then I rotate this, and I could easily create kind of like uh, strands of DNA as I keep wrapping this around itself. Uh, I can also play with the grid spacing. As I click here, um, we're spreading out the grid, which looks kind of interesting. And we could also uh, play around with the size of the balls. Right now, they're 100, which is kind of like a medium value. But as I start playing with this, uh, you could get really uh, big spheres or very small spheres. And actually, in order to see this, I'm going to take up grid spacing back up to, let's say, about 10 or so. And let's go ahead and fiddle with the twist angle a little bit more. Let's keep... Uh, twisting, actually it's going negative, way extreme here. And after a while it starts being unrecognizable as a photograph and just seems like a bunch of like really cool spheres uh, tied together. Let's go ahead and increase grid spacing quite a bit for that. Maybe take the ball size down a bit. So you can see there's some really interesting things that you could do here. Now as we play with that, some really interesting effects. And again, it's 3D so you could move this on all kinds of different axes here and uh, play with that. That's a really, I don't know, very interesting effect with a lot of possibilities. Uh, finally, I want to show you, you could create some smoke. Uh, you got this little cool smoke trail coming out of this uh, UFO here. And actually, in the next tutorial in the series, we're going to be looking at how to create this smoke step by step. And again, in the rest of the tutorials in this series, we're going to be going step by step into what I did with Keylight and Mocha and Freeform AE and the rest. So uh, thank you so much for watching. If you like these, this tutorial and you feel like it's worth a dollar to you and you'd like to donate a dollar, then bless your sweetheart. And you could go to our website, moviesandbeers.com, to do that. Uh, feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, and of course visit us on moviesandcomputers.com to talk with us in the forums, ask questions, and meet other awesome filmmaking people. And thank you so much for watching this tutorial. Uh, appreciate it a lot. Until next time, my friends. Uh -huh.